Bruce, tell us the story, yeah. Ism. Tell us what happened, Mr. Ism. Okay, so I come to visit Dave's, right? <laughs> Wonderful winterland, whatever, we got hit with a blizzard, alright? <laughs> I said, okay, let me try to get my Cadillac out. I ended up getting stuck. Okay, I almost got it out, but the car twist, whatever. I got stuck. So I said, you know, fuck this. Let me go ask some of the nice I'm going to go ask some of the nice neighbors because we live in a predominantly white area. Okay? So let me get a shovel, and I'll just shovel it myself. It's no problem. So I, I commenced to start walking around <laughs> to begin my journey of the shovel, you know, finding. Meanwhile, you're like, you know, so I'm walking around. I got my North Face on, fitted cap or whatever. I guess it's ghetto or whatever. I see this nice guy. He's standing on a shovel. He's just freshly done with his driveway. It's squeaky clean. So he's sitting on his shovel, kind of like this. Just looking at me, stuck in the snow. So I said, maybe this guy is thinking, man, I should help that guy. Right? So I go over to this guy. I'm like, hey, sir, how you doing today? Oh, man, this weather's crazy, isn't it? Oh. Boy, I tell you, I can use a shovel right now. I'm stuck in the snow, you know. Uh, I really need a shovel. You think you can let me yours? Uh, so he looks around like, who the fuck you talking to? You know what I mean? He looks at like, I'm not talking to him. He, he, he looks this way to the left and then looks to the right like I'm not even there. He goes, I'm sorry, this is the only one I got. <laughs> Can I have the fucking shovel? You know what I mean? So I said, okay, uh, don't worry about it, sir. So I commenced to walk down the block. Okay? At this point, I'm kind of aggravated, but I can deal with it. I'm a professional. Right? So I'm walking down the block. I see this nice lady. She's out playing with a kid and her son. And, and they look like they're shoveling just for entertainment. Okay? They have two shovels. Seriously, they two. have two shovels. Two. A baby one for the kid because he thinks he's working. You know? <laughs> It's own work ethic, right? So, I asked them, hey, how you guys doing? Oh, man, I'm stuck over there. My Cadillac is in a ditch. Uh, do you, would you happen to have an extra shovel to help me out with? Well, maybe um, the guys down the street uh, could help you out, sir. <laughs> Scared. Scared like I'm, a, like, like I'm a fucking boogie monster. <laughs> like, like, they couldn't help me because I had a deformation or something on my face. <coughs> so it kept going like that for four houses. Eventually I had to throw some money at some young kids so they would shovel me out of the ditch. And that's my story of Island Heights, New Jersey hospitality. What about the Winter fire Wonderland. trucks? Went to Wonderland. Oh, but you didn't. <laughs> what about the trucks today? Santa Claus came. What do you think about that? Uh, oh, it was amazing. Story. It was amazing. Uh, Santa Apparently is <laughs> into fire trucks <laughs> in New Jersey. He doesn't have a sleigh and reindeer. He has injured engine number 59 and the paramedics um, in his clan. There's no uh, Rudolph. There's only a uh, ladder 71. Okay. Uh, and it's terrifying. <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. I thought people were dying. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought people were dying. <laughs> so they death. They were dying, okay? So I go outside and Dave's is inside, okay? Because it's fine, he thinks people are dying too. If not, he would have followed me. I'm looking out the window. So he's looking out the fucking window at his poor friend who's walking towards the mayhem. I say to myself, the fuck is he doing? The car's running and he's at the end of the driveway like this. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know what I was doing? I was terrified. That's what I was doing. Okay, so I see these fire trucks. I'm like, oh my god, I hope everybody's okay. Right? And all of a sudden, on ladder 72, here comes Santa. Merry Christmas! So I'm like, what the fuck? Santa? Santa came to the rescue? Like, people are dying. What is Santa doing here, right? <laughs> so then I realized, because again,
guy had told me earlier, uh, Santa's going to be in town. I didn't realize he was going to be on fire trucks, okay, and, and be backed by paramedics. But that's what all the commotion was about. That was in case a nigga like you went and knocked him out. Yeah. <laughs> So if you was a child and he was coming in the truck, what would you say? If I was a child and this happened, horrified. I don't, I don't know who came up with this idea, but I remember as a child thinking Santa, Santa, Santa's life. Santa was no homo. Santa was on a sleigh with a bunch of reindeer. Okay, and if Santa would have rolled up with all this paramedics and fucking fire trucks and all that, I would have been terrified. I would have been shitting in my pants, crying, wondering why people were dying on Christmas. Okay, that's what I would have been thinking. So I don't know what they were thinking when but they. But today's uh, not even Christmas. This all is right, the, paying off, and with that, you see he's stressed out right now, right? I'm scared. He's about to go into convulsion. I'm afraid. We might have to take him to community memorial. I'm not coming here no more. No more. <laughs> 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 but that is our little Christmas. That is our Christmas story. Oh. And we shall see y'all. <laughs>